Hi, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your Mercury retrograde reading for you, but it's going to be a bit different. We are focusing on the energy shift during this Mercury retrograde that is going to throw everybody for a loop. So buckle up. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Now, I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously, so thank you so much for doing so. And if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It's listed in the description box below. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. All right, Pisces, let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. I love that everything just came out all at once. We'll do one more card. Okay, angels and spirit guides. This one right here. Fantastic. <laughs> it was so lovely. Okay, let me make sure everything is in frame. Perfect. Now let's see what spirit has to say before we dive into the tarot. Now, if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, there are a few things you have to do. Like, comment with a butterfly, and subscribe. The butterfly lets me know that you are interested in being a part of the giveaway for the reading and yeah so good luck to everyone the winner will be announced on sunday so stay tuned so let's see here what the tarot has to say angels and spirit guides show me clearly so here we have mystery reversed meaning that we are feeling like we're feeling like there's no mystery it's almost like everything's up in the surface, everything's being seen, and it's not necessarily what we like. So just be aware of that. I laugh because it's not true. It's not true at all. And yet that's the way that we're feeling about this time and about this Mercury retrograde. It's like there's no mystery here. It's like everything is, is up front and it's like the same old humdrum day in, day out, day in, day out. And it makes us want to like pull our hair. So do be mindful about this during this time because we want that mystery. We do. We want that mystery. Our chakra message, Pisces, angels, and spirit guides, show me clearly, guide this reading and show me clearly, is universal light. This is the soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. And this is letting ourselves shine. This is letting ourselves move forward in the light of the universe, being connected with the universe, being empowered by the universe. And that is going to be just so important for us to let that shining light move us forward. Now, let's see what energy we need to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Oh, this is <laughs> this is so funny because when I was shuffling the cards, spirits like remind Pisces that their sister sign is Virgo. So Virgo can bring out the best or the worst in you. And why that's important is because this Mercury retrograde, which begins on the first of uh, begins on the fifth, not the first, the fifth of August is in Virgo for the first bit. So from the fifth to the 13th, Mercury retrograde is in Virgo. And that's going to be a time that kind of kicks us in the teeth. So be mindful of that because a sister sign and just like a sister, if you know, if you if you have one, you obviously know, either brings out the very best in you or the very worst in you. And sometimes the both almost at the same time. So be mindful of this. We also really don't want to be 
turning inward, you know, quieting things down. We want to be going out. We want to be doing more. We want to be expanding, you know, going after. And however that looks like for you, it is going to be important for us during this time to embrace, to, you know, triumph, to, to go after new things. And here it's like, be mindful that it's like there's this inner nagging voice within us that makes us tell us we can't do it. So be mindful about that. We are crowned with the eight of wands reversed. <laughs> That's very funny. We then have the knight of cups reversed. We have the page of pentacles in the upright position, the 10 of swords, the wheel of fortune reversed, the 10 of cups, the queen of cups, the four of cups, the eight of pentacles, the five of wands reversed, and the eight of swords reversed. So it's very interesting here is that the, the water sign energy that represents us, we're represented by the cups in the major arcana, is coming through very, very powerfully for us. We are being shown as the queen of cups. We have the knight of cups reversed, which means that we can be a bit reckless during this mercury retrograde, so do be mindful about that. But also understand that with this mercury retrograde starting off in Virgo, it just knocks us for a loop. Virgo is usually very organized, very clarity-oriented, you know, have you dotted the I's? Have you crossed the T's? Is, is the lines of communication open? When Mercury retrograde, it makes us obsessive. It does. It brings in this obsessive overthinking, overanalyzing. It's a very negative Virgo energy. And if, you've, if you have Virgo in your chart, if you have Virgo in your life, you know a negative Virgo because they overthink, they overanalyze, they can't be in their own thoughts. They are, you know, they are nitpicky about everything. It's like the little things are the things that matter the most, but they'll let the big good things go. They are stressed to the max and there's a lot of misunderstanding. So be mindful about this during this time because this is what throws us for the loop because it's our sister sign bringing out the very worst in us. And then we have on the 13th to the 9th, Mercury retrograde moves into Leo, which is not a calmer energy for us at all, but it is the drama queen energy. Now, Leo is highly theatrical, very vivacious, very vibrant, you know, very much, you know, creative, self-expressive energy. When Mercury retrograde gets its claws into, into Leo, it is this absolutely intense, you know, ego-driven time where it is drama, it's misunderstandings, it's miscommunications, it is ego clashes, and we're just not here for it. We really feel during this time that everything slows down and becomes this like maze that we have to go through, but we don't really want to be in. So be mindful about that. That we'll think like, mm, no, you know what? I'm just going to wait till, you know, the 9th <laughs> of September, and then I'll start doing things again. That might not be a bad idea, but this Mercury retrograde and all Mercury retrogrades are actually a really good time because they bring forward what usually would be swept under the rug. They make us see, they have things said that usually people wouldn't dare to say. They'll be like, oh my God, I can't believe I said that, you know, type of thing. And we'll be like that to ourselves. I can't believe I said that, or I can't believe I did that. Because Mercury retrograde wants us to be fierce in our voice and fierce in our power of self. And that Leo energy can come in like a roar and we can really embrace our fierceness and what we desire. We are going to be reckless, okay? This is going to be a time we feel things are moving too slow, so we're going to want to speed it up. And we're going to think faster is better, go after, you know, everything, and think about the consequences later. That's not necessarily going to be the best thing for us. We can also be really drawn to people who emotionally are a bit all over the place. So do be mindful about that because we're like, oh, I can help you. And our great, you know, Pisces energy comes in. I can help you. I can, you know, help you move forward. But then we can also be a little bit weighed down by this. So do be aware. With the first half in Virgo of Mercury retrograde, we have a lot of lessons coming forward. We're going to need to connect with our inner child around money. There's going to be something in the first half, like up to the 13th, that has us looking at our money, our prosperity, our success, where it is that we want to be very differently and going back to the roots of how we thought success was, you know, what we thought was the most wonderful thing for us. Now, there is going to be this energy shift here. We are being reborn during this Mercury retrograde and being reborn during a Mercury retrograde is never 
an easy thing. We are very hardworking. We are very determined. We can get hyper fixated and hyper focused on certain things. And this is going to be a time where we need to look at things differently. And we are going to be like, no, 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 no. This is the most important thing. Yet spirit is going to be handing us a gift that pulls us in a different direction. We're going to find it annoying. So just be aware of that. It's going to be something where we're like, oh my gosh, seriously, why is it that my attention is being taken away from where it needs to be? I need to be doing this and doing the other thing is actually going to wind up being highly beneficial for us. With the Ten of Cups coming into play, that is very much embracing our happiness and our joy. And it's not being apologetic. What if every decision you made was the right decision? You know, it's not talking about like terrible decisions that people make that make very bad things happen. But it is really saying to ourselves, okay, you know what, if I come from a place of love, kindness and respect, I'm moving forward in that energy and every decision I make is based off of that energy and moves us forward into a greater sense of me. That's how we have to see it. You know, have to is a harsh word to use, but that is a really nice way of seeing everything and it makes our lives a beautiful place to be. It also makes it so that we can nurture what we love and who it is that we are and drink deeply of our cup of healing and connection and, and energy and and love. It's love. We're all about love, Pisces. And this is going to be a time where we're really releasing a lot of the fighting, a lot of the nitpicking, a lot of the nastiness that has been going on. And we're stopping overthinking. We're stopping overanalyzing because it's keeping us stuck. It's keeping us small. It's keeping us in a place that we just don't want to be anymore. The repeat of the number eight three times is showing us here that spirit is saying, we are going to be very serious. And that seriousness can work very well for us, but that seriousness can also stop us from really enjoying what it is that we we want from life, how it is that we want to create, how it is that we want to embrace our happiness and our success. So here, make sure you make time for laughing, make sure you make time for play, and also make sure you make time for really embracing what you love, Pisces. It doesn't have to be what anybody else loves, but what you love, that moves you forward so brilliantly. Our subconscious spirit message here is repel reverse. Now this is the cohosh. I don't know. I'm going to hold that up for you. I don't know what plant that is, but we're going to feel like we can't repel what it is that we don't want subconsciously. It's like everything's clinging to us. Everything's sticking to us until we say what it is that we want to us until we embrace the fierceness of our voice and the beauty of our joy and then all of a sudden it's like oh i got this oh i can do this yeah i i i'm, I'm set there's going to be a confidence that comes forward that is beautiful it moves us to our subconscious chakra message which is the solar plexus chakra this is self-mastery this is reverse we need to listen to our gut you know intertwining our fingers rubbing in a in a um making circle motions, you know, circle motions around our, our stomach is going to be very beneficial in breaking up any blockages around our solar plexus chakra and letting us step into the power of our voice, the power of where we need to be and the power of what we're seeing for ourselves. It moves us then to be mindful of the nine of wands, which is this energy of like, I'm always having to be on guard. I'm always having to fight. I'm always having to X, Y, Z. We are resisting a transformation that's coming forward or we're thinking it has to be bigger and it winds up being a bit smaller a bit more quiet than it is than what it is that we thought it would be and this is going to be a time for us to step back in order to step forward to step back and be quiet for a minute even though we don't like to be quiet right now we want to be in the midst of noise and and action and and, and like the vibrancy of everything but to step back to be quiet and then step forward it's like Oh, okay, now I got it. Oh, okay, now I see it. But that's what it's going to be. We need to take a beat during this Mercury retrograde. That is going to be one of the most beneficial ways to traverse a Mercury retrograde is to step back. Even if we're like rip or and mad, right? We need to step back, not act instantaneously. You know, go home, sleep on it. If we wake up still mad, if we are still frustrated and we talk to people and we like kind of bounce out ideas to say, okay, am I overreacting? Am I not? then we're going to be able to be like, okay, this is the decision I'm making. I'm not backing down. I'm not questioning myself. It's done. Hands, you know, hands wiped. Let's move forward. It moves us then to our subconscious. Yeah. 
tarot message, which is the seven of swords reverse. We're done with lies. We are done with lies. We are done with liars. We are done with, you know, being ultra understanding. So being aware of this is going to be super important as well. All right. All right, Pisces. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Pisces. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. Love you all. God bless. And have a safe and blessed Mercury retrograde. Bye.